Oh, grab your popcorn, folks, because the saga of Megan's podcast misadventures with Lemonada Media is the gift that keeps on giving. Well, except to Lemonada Media's bank account, that is. Picture this, a 16 million pound plunge into the abyss, all thanks to Megan's Archetypes podcast, which couldn't even charm its way into the top 200. It's like throwing a party and forgetting to invite guests. Classic Megan move, right? Let's set the stage for this Shakespearean tragedy. Lemonada Media, bless their hearts, thought they hit the jackpot signing the Duchess of Disappointment. Their game plan? Let's give more people access to archetypes. Sounds noble, doesn't it? But here's the kicker. You don't even need a Spotify account to tune in, which makes you wonder why anyone would bother with Lemonada in the first place. According to The Express, this little endeavor could see Lemonada making a significant financial loss, given their David vs. Goliath revenue battle with Spotify. Now, rewind to when Harry and Meghan first decided to break free from the royal roost, inking deals left and right in the land of the free. Spotify, with high hopes and deep pockets, handed them a whopping £18 million to churn out their own podcast series. But archetypes flopped harder than a fish out of water after just one season. Despite roping in big names like Serena Williams and Mariah Carey, Meghan's audio adventure was about as engaging as watching paint dry. This year, in a plot twist no one asked for, Megan announced her rebound with Lemonada Media, promising new content that, let's be honest, no one's really queuing up for. While the Spotify deal was the golden ticket, this new partnership seems more like a consolation prize. Branding whiz Andrew Block, a man who clearly knows a thing or two, speculated that Megan's new deal could be worth a mere 10% of the Spotify jackpot. That's right, from 18 million pounds to possibly just 1.9 million. Talk about a downgrade. But here's where the plot thickens, or should I say, thins out. If you're an Apple Podcasts aficionado, good luck finding archetypes without a search party. It's like Megan's podcast is playing hide and seek, except no one's really searching. Amazon Music and Audible aren't much better. You'd have an easier time finding a needle in a haystack. And let's not even get started on the all five-star reviews from the Sussex squad on Audible. Even with their enthusiastic padding, archetypes barely scraped together a three-star rating out of ten. Ouch. The verdict? Megan might fancy herself the next Oprah of audio, but the public begs to differ. She's more concerned with hearing her own voice than letting her guests get a word in edgewise. And as for the podcast being a successful venture? Please. The only thing it's successfully done is illustrate a monumental miscalculation of Megan's appeal as a podcaster. The cherry on top? The Sussex spokeswoman, in a dazzling display of denial, claimed Archetypes was the number one podcast on Spotify. Spoiler alert, it wasn't. Joe Rogan held that crown, and unlike Megan's fleeting podcast fame, he's still sitting pretty atop the charts. Spotify's grand plan to prop up Megan's podcast with a New York ad blitz was more about saving face than celebrating success. In the end, Megan and Harry's podcast fiasco is a masterclass in how not to launch an audio career. With each misguided step and financial flop, they're writing their own guidebook on media mishaps. So here's to archetypes. May it rest in peace in the graveyard of forgotten podcasts. Lemonada Media, you have our deepest sympathies.